your person feels like you got that mm, mm, is that boosie certified like they <laughs> this is so funny but i gotta tell y'all what's coming out this is hilarious they feel like you have tons of options people like fighting at you they feel like a lot of people desire you they some of y'all may have already slept with this person but i really feel like for real like this person if for this person to know you you splashing they definitely have you get you gave it to them at least once okay but they feel like you have options and not all of y'all have had you know a sexual encounter with this person so just apply this where it fits they feel like you are free you do whatever you want to do when you get ready to do it here you're just minding your own business looking good you know and you might be somebody here who doesn't have to dress half naked just to look good you can put on clothes because she's fully clothed and clothed in this um she got a little crop top Okay, so you cute, you know what I'm saying, sis? But, and if you're dude, you're showing your arms off, but I feel like you're not doing too much. Like, you're real classy, you know what I'm saying? You 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 can pay your own bills. You don't really don't need anybody for anything, or that at least that's how this person views you, okay? Mm. They feel like you have a lot of options. You can call... A different person on Monday. You can call a different person on Thursday or Friday. That's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> mm -mm, this is hilarious, y'all. Ooh, somebody was trying to marry you. Somebody trying to marry you. Nine of Pentacles to the to the Ten of Pentacles. I can't show you the Ten of Pentacles because she don't have on any clothes. But there are in this Ten of Pentacles. So this person knows that you're marriage material basically okay this person wants to get to know who you are like they want to get to know you who you are on the inside and the outside even though i know we're talking about the physical right now but like you're fully clothed in one in one <laughs> when you take your clothes off you look amazing okay is what i'm saying they really feel like you bring a lot to the table in your marriage material Dang, this lady has like a, she's got on, what, the veil? That, I think that's the veil that hangs on your top of your head and she's got flowers on. Um, and there's like somebody washing her. There's two people washing her body. I mean, they feel like you definitely dress up, like you clean up real good. You know what I'm saying? So, so y'all might be, I could be talking to somebody here who is, you know, um, no hair, I mean, what is it? No makeup, sweats on, hair tied, whatever Drake says, that's when you're the prettiest. Like, that's how this person sees you. Wow. Ooh, they feel like you have people, yeah. A lot of money and pentacles around you. They feel like you have people groveling at your feet. Like, I cannot show you this Six of Pentacles card just came out. We have the Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. And in this Six of Pentacles, this woman has a veil over her face and over her waist, over, you know, over her waist and her area there, her cat cat, okay, whatever y'all want to call it. Two men are groveling at her feet. And she's standing there leaning against the tree like, Mm hmm <laughs> this is so funny i have not used this deck in so long i'm telling you this person feels like you have multiple people trying to wife you up and there goes that ace of wands i'm telling you honey this ace of wands we all know what that is that's a passionate fiery like bomb like you got it like this person feels like you don't put that whip appeal on them or something. This is funny. Ooh, ooh. Bottom of the deck is a six of swords. Who had a threesome? Somebody's thinking about having a threesome, or somebody here likes the is is fantasizing about you. Somebody here may be either fantasizing about this or this is something they, that this person wants to talk to you about or they want want to or they want to do this i don't know but there's an energy here of like somebody watching these two people do something if y'all into that kinky shit going right on ahead that's your business you're grown listen i'm not over here and mm -mm, i ain't gonna be able to do it <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to do it show me more please 
Ace of Wands out here. So they feel like you're very stable. You're doing good for yourself. You have a lot of options. You get a lot of attention here. Look at this. Six of Wands. You get a lot of attention because you're sexy. You know what I'm saying? You, you, this person got it bad for you. They feel like you get so much attention here. And you know what's so funny too? Because she is on a horse. Which is, you know, pretty norm normal. But I feel like somebody got some good knees. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody on the stallion. This is my big stallion car in this deck. Okay. Like, <laughs> somebody know. Ooh, and look at this Gemini energy here. <sighs> the magician. This person feels like. Any and everything that you touch, like you just have a, a form of charisma, like you're just really, you have a lot of energy too. This person may feel like they can't keep up with you in the bedroom. I'm just going to say that because honey, this person feels like you have strong goddess energy here. They view you as a god or as like a goddess and you know, like strong, independent, like anything that you touch and you could be, I could be talking to somebody here who's very successful and independent. Like I said, you really don't have to rely on anybody for anything, you know, and you definitely don't have to settle, but they do like how you, how you get on top. Look at, there goes that emperor. I'm telling you, look, look at this emperor. Ooh, the emperor look good too. Aries energy. I'm telling you, this emperor is falling underneath this ten of pentacles. You, if you could resonate as the, you know, the emperor if you're the masculine, right? And you're feeling this way about this woman who's in this nine of pentacles energy. Somebody is trying to wipe somebody up here. Like, wow. Show me more. Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is falling right underneath this Ace of Wands. And then the Nine of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. I could show you this Nine of Wands. Look at that. I wonder what this Seven of Wands is about, though. Somebody here is guarded or blocking. For some of y'all, this could be somebody, a player from the past. But they do see you as like this warrior, like very strong, resilient, powerful goddess energy. Like you're not taking anybody's shit. You know what I mean? But they also feel like you have a lot of options and you are fighting people off with a stick because you're so attractive. You know, that's the energy that is giving. I'm telling you, somebody is riding this thing like, you know, what's the name of that song? On I'm a ride like a rodeo. You know, uh, is that City Girls? I don't know. I <laughs> Somebody feel like you ride it like the rodeo, honey. That's all I can tell you. Like, you holding on to that thing. You holding on to, you holding on to somebody's shoulders. I don't know. Or somebody waist or somebody back or whatever. <laughs> this is so funny. But it's true. Y'all got me cackling over here. Y'all got me cackling over here. Let me see what the Seven of Wands is about real quick, though. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I feel like you don't give it to just anybody. This person may have assumed something about you, or they could have been a player, and you you were protect, trying to protect yourself, and you guarded yourself from this person, because I feel like you not are not playing games with anybody. You're not taking anything toxic. You're not accepting anything less than what you deserve. I do feel like there is an emperor here who's in deep regret over you, and they feel like you may reject them or you could have already rejected them with this five of cups. Like they're obviously in some form of regret over something. Again, for some of y'all, it could have been their player ways. They could have tried to play you out, be it in and out, hot and cold, you know, call you when they want to call you, leave you on red or call you when they only want one thing for some of y'all or, you know, because the Knight of Wands is really inconsistent. So maybe when this person did show up, y'all had a good time and sex was great, but like low key, like that wasn't enough for you. Like there's more to you than just this. 
there's you want more to a connection than just fun. So now this person is over here in this regret. What's this regret about? Hmm. This is a death card in reverse. The death card just came out in reverse. They regret losing you. They don't want this to be over. And they regret not changing their behavior and, and, and showing up in true, you know, masculine energy, you know, and, and energy that's not like, you know, mature. Okay, Scorpio energy here also. Clarify this emperor, please. The star card, Aquarius energy. So this 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 could be this person could be an Aries. It could be a Gemini. Um, you could be you could be any of these signs or an, an Aquarius, but or a Scorpio too. So this Emperor. Show me more here on this Emperor. The Hangman in reverse. In the Justice card, Libra energy, Pisces energy, and Aquarius energy. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. Hmm. This person knows they could. They were supposed to do better when they dealt with you. They knew they were supposed to do better. If they didn't know. I really feel like they knew better then. They definitely know better now with this justice card being here. It's like somebody was being is being released and cut down from a tree, you know, because this person is like hanging on this tree or whatever. Like I said, there was a lack of like somebody being able to change and grow, make better decisions, you know. With this star card energy, it's like you offered some form of healing. You know, when you exchange energy with people, when you exchange sexual energy with people, that stuff, you, you know, especially that's like a soul tie, you know, and you don't want to be tied up with just anybody who somebody who has dirty energy. You know what I'm saying? They don't have good spiritual hygiene. That is, that's not it, especially not you being in this energy that you're in. No, it's a no. Um, and your love, I feel like, and your sex was healing to this person. So, like, what are they going to do without you now? And they regret that. Because now they don't have that sex. Somebody definitely does want to tie you up, though. Like, literally, they do want to tie you up. And this is so funny. Y'all might may have played around with, with handcuffs and ropes or whatever. Somebody could have got tied to a bedpost. I don't know. But you see how this person is tied up, right? Pisces could be you. I don't know. And then this card literally says, I want to tie you up. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. The number 40 could be significant for you. I'm telling you, the fire that y'all make. Who sings that? The fire we make. Uh, Alicia Keys and... Is that Maxwell? It might be Maxwell. But they do feel like, you know, y'all made magic in the bedroom for real. But I just feel like this was short-lived. They do love you, though. They love you a lot. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And they're definitely in regret. This person feels like you're a great kisser, too. They really, really enjoy kissing you. Somebody's lips is like looking juicy <laughs> somebody got some oh look and this this says that you could be that your per, your person or you could be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius and the number 28 could be significant okay show me more here oh yeah see the star energy came out remember that and this person they they see the stars honey when y'all had sex like, this person said, I want to see stars when we make love. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So, they are. It's magical, whatever y'all giving them, or whatever y'all did give them. Ooh, I can't show y'all this card, but I'm just going to tell you. Somebody likes to be up all night long. Somebody likes to be up all night long. And they trying to take you to the stars, the moon, and back. This literally says that we saw the we saw the star card, right? And then we have another card here that says, "I want you to see the stars when we have 
when we make love. And this says, let me take you on the ride to the moon and back. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They trying to be up all night long, like I said. I mean, somebody do definitely love when you bend it over and hold on to that bedpost. I'm just saying. Because this girl in this two of wands is doing that. She holding on to... <laughs> She got one arm on the on the post. <laughs> and she and she poking it out. I want I can't really show. Let me see if I can cover this. It's kind of it's covered up. I can show y'all that. Look. You see what I'm saying? She poking it out. This is funny. I'm let's let's see. Let's get messages from your person. What does this person want to say here to my collective? What messages? What do they want to say? Yeah, but in all in all um, seriousness, though, this person does love you. They do love you. Okay. True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. Who sings that song? Um, I don't even remember, but I'm, I'm hearing, you know, but I found it in you, a love that... I don't know. Anyway, y'all don't. I hope you know what I'm saying. You might not. It says, I don't want to lose your love. I'm afraid I might lose you. Yeah, they know that. That's why they're in this five of cups energy, right? I told you they do. They do love you. It's not just about the sex. The sex is bomb, but you know, that's not all you're looking for in a, in a connection. Y'all want some substance. It says, sometimes I feel like you want too much for me. And uh, the energy that you're in collective and do and should you should expect the most and the best out of this person because look at what energy you're in this is what you deserve you take very good care of yourself uh spiritually mentally physically emotionally you know what i mean and this person says we belong together all right mariah carey i don't know they're gonna have to get it together is what I'm saying. Maybe they will, you know what I'm saying? I will tell you one thing, they not gonna find, uh, they are not gonna find anything as good as you when it comes to the bedroom. I can just tell you that now. Maybe this person has already had other options. I feel like they did because there was definitely, somebody was in some player energy with, you know, they were in regret over that, um, playing games. Just because they think you got options, they got options, and they mad at you because you got options. Now, how that go? Nar it sounds a little narcissistic and insecure to me, so you can have options, but the collective can't have options. So you mad? So you gonna, you just going to play them out? Like, I don't, I, don't under I don't understand that, you know. But, I mean, they played themselves is what they did. You understand? They play themselves. So, anywho, y'all hit the like button. If you need a personal reading, you can contact me through email or you can click the link below in the description box. Otherwise, I will see y'all later, okay? Love you. Bye.